In Fort Bend County, Hightower High School put on lockdown today after what the school district is calling multiple physical altercations on campus, and one student was caught with an airsoft gun. Our Tiffany Justice live tonight at Hightower with what we know. Tiffany. All right, Jonathan, it was a chaotic day here at High Tower High. Classes were immediately canceled after the incident. And parents were lining up to pick up their children. I was on Instagram, just like scrolling through social media, and I wound up seeing a video of people uh, running from the cafeteria and screaming. That's when it all kind of started, and they started putting us on lockdown. People couldn't leave the classrooms, and it's just chaos. Jaden Smith, a student at Hightower High School, speaking with us after Friday's scare. Word spreading that a student had possibly brought a weapon to school, spreading on social media, causing chaos. It doesn't feel good at all to, to have any of these situations happen. It's, it's crazy. It's scary. You know, and you want to make sure that your kids are safe and to have these kind of scenarios happen, it's it's uh, very alarming. School officials alerting parents, sending out two emails saying the school received a report of a student taking an airsoft gun to class. They notified campus police. The student was ID'd and arrested. There was other things that were happening in the cafeteria at that time, so we determined to go ahead and come and get him because I'd rather him be safe than me be sorry. The disruption causing more trouble as several fights also broke out. So you just want to make sure that all the students are okay. It's unfair that they have to deal with these kind of scenarios when all they're trying to do is, is learn and come to school. You know, it's, it's really unfair. Like it takes away from our learning in a way because um, even if this is like a joke, um, you know, we're still like losing hours, losing days. You know, we could be doing stuff. Now, school officials say those who are responsible have been identified and are facing serious disciplinary action. Now, there is a big rivalry game tomorrow. We reached out to the school district to see if there will be increased security. We are waiting on a response back. Reporting live, Tiffany Justice, Fox 26 News.